Sylvester is hungry for winners, will go anywhere for winners. How he keeps that drive going, I have no idea. He's just mega, mega competitive. When I look at the table, I was down 15, 16, like it's a slow start and I just had to build up. He's not sort of one to get down, he'll just keep battling. I didn't really look at the table early on in the season. I don't think there's any point looking at that table till July, otherwise it would really get to you, I think. I had a bit of ground to catch up, you know. Salwen is taking them along in the hands of Sylvester de Souza. I think every horse he rides gets 100%, but he is class around Epsom. My horse is just was enjoying that day and I think he's run the race of his life. And he looked like a win, but unfortunately, just a couple of yards from the line, he just got tired. Cracksman is beginning to get there. He got him. Got him. It was exciting to watch, but at the same time disappointing. It wasn't his normal rearing to go start, but it was always going to build up. I was confident. The season really did not get going for me into the Investec Derby. The ride I gave to the XP, I think, was one of my greatest rides. It's the derb like every jockey dream to win one day. I was quite happy to see him at 25 to 1 outside because I knew he would give his best and I felt everything went right for him that day. He just got beat by a very good horse. I was proud. After the derby, the winners is that's coming doubled. A couple of trebles is right the winners every day. I got me and he wanted to do well. I made my maneuver to the stand side because I have the rail and no one would come. They were all going to challenge me to my left and he took a breath and I said, oh, I'm in the right place. Astelio wins the Britannia. He definitely got better quality horses this year and Royal Ascot definitely showed that. When the winners come, you think you can do whatever you want. The Katag would do first of all. It was such a hard meeting. It was a good week and four winners, I walk out with my head up. He's someone that I think we all look up to. He obviously works so hard, he's back and forth the country every day and it takes a lot of dedication. I think the hardest part is the driving. When we was in the battle for the title with Jim Crowley, I think in that year, not counting the flies we did, we'll be done about 80,000 miles. What makes the difference between him and any other jockey in the weight room? He just wins on horses that I don't think anybody else could win, you know? It's very relaxed in the weighing room and uh, I think that's key to putting all your focus on the track when you're out there. Very, very talented. With his work ethic as well, I guess it puts him that bit ahead of a few of the others. I think he'd be very proud this year. It's been a fantastic season for him. It'll be amazing to see Sylv lift the Stobart Flat Jockeys Championship again. He's worked so hard for it. Um, he's ridden consistently well. He deserves all the success. An amazing achievement to have won it three times. I'll definitely make my way down to Kipco British Champions Day at Ascot. It'd be great to see him lift the trophy again. I'm looking forward to it. It's great for him and his family and he deserves it. You know, some jockeys will say they don't want to be champion jockey, but every jockey wants to be champion. This one I really was one to win, the first one, the second one, but this one feels a bit more tasty. I think it will be one of the greatest moments for me. I put a lot of effort this year to win again from a slow start of the season. Boy from Brazil arrived in England and to be in the position I am today, just proud of myself.